Hello, and welcome to part five of the NetSuite Segregation of Duties Analysis. In this session, we'll be discussing how to match the permissions and employees with the rules. So there are three basic overall steps. First, we match the per permissions with employees. Second, we remove some duplicate combinations. And then finally, we match the permissions plus employees plus the four rules that we discussed in the previous session. So here's how the process works, and we'll show you the individual steps. But first, we're going to match our employee list to the list of permissions. So here's our employee permissions list that we previously ran in um, one of the other reports, and we exported it out of NetSuite. Our lookup value will be the permissions column from our employees list here. And we've prepared our segregation of duties rules, so we'll use these rules and combine it with our list of permissions. So we're going to add a column in our list of employees and call it match. And in the SOD rule set file, we're going to create a new tab. We'll copy the first set of permissions and then copy the second set of permissions. Then we want to remove all the duplicates. We're going to now call this list the list of permanent rule set. So we have seven permissions that are in the rule set with no repeating ones. And so the permissions, if you remember, was credit memo, check, pay bill, make journal, customer, vendors, and approve journals. So these are the seven permissions that don't repeat with anything else. Next, we're going to look at the permissions and do a lookup value. And we'll show you the lookup formula. So here's what the formula looks like. So the D2 is equal to our lookup permission, which is the column D in the list of employees. The list of perm in rule set is the tab where we put our seven list of permissions that didn't repeat, remember those? And then the data range is the value we want to match, and that's the range that we want to look at. And this is locked, and zero is we want to get an exact match. So that's the formula to use. And now we have the results. After entering the formula, it'll give us a list something like this. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to remove all the NAs or not applicables. We're going to filter for those. So in our Excel spreadsheet that you have there, you will filter. So these are all the employees who have permissions to create, edit, or full which can be found in the SOD rule set. We ignore the ones that are not found in the rule set because we want to look at a smaller list. The smaller the list, the easier it is for us to actually do the analysis. And you'll notice here the level, column E, is just full edit and create. We have already removed the non and the view. If you remember from the previous session, the non means the, that user does not have the permission, and view just means the, view, the person can view it, but they can't transact or change the transaction. So we only want to focus on the level of permission that allows someone to create, to edit, or to full, which is also create, edit, and delete. So to recap, we showed you how to find the permissions and match it with employees. We showed you how to remove the duplicate combinations of uh, permission names so that we're just using some basic ones. And then in the last step, we gave you the formula to match the permissions with the employees with the rules, the four basic rules that we had. And that's it. We'll see you in the next session when we finish the final analysis. Thanks so much for your time, and we'll talk to you soon.